first oscillations and resonance. If a force is continually or repeatedly applied to keep the oscillation going, it is a forced oscillator. A common example of a forced oscillator is a damped oscillator driven by an external force that varies periodically, such as F is equals to F external into cos omega t, where omega is the angular frequency of the periodic force and F external is a constant. Suppose an external force F of t periodically with time is applied to a damped oscillator. Such a force can be represented as F of t is equals to F not cos omega dt. The motion of a particle under the combined action of a linear restoring force, damping force and a time-dependent driving force represented is given by m a of t is equal to minus k x of t minus b v of t plus f naught cos omega dt. After a sufficiently long period of time, when the energy input per cycle equals the energy lost per cycle, a steady state condition is reached in which the oscillations proceed with constant amplitude. At this time, when the system is in a steady state, the solution of above equation is x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi where a is equals to f external by m by root omega square minus omega naught square whole square plus b omega by m whole square and where omega naught is equals to root k by m is the angular frequency of the undamped oscillator b is equal to 0. One could argue that in steady state the oscillator must physically have the same frequency as the driving force and thus the solution given by equation x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi is expected. The equation shows that because an external force is driving it, the motion of the forced oscillator is not damped. The external agent provides the necessary energy to overcome the losses due to the retarding force. The system oscillates at the angular frequency omega of the driving force. For small damping, the amplitude becomes very large when the frequency of the driving force is near the natural frequency of oscillation. The dramatic increase in amplitude near the natural frequency omega naught is called resonance and for this reason omega naught is sometimes called the resonance frequency of the system.